President Rodrigo Duterte says he needs to be a dictator in order to effect change in the country. Duterte makes the statement Wednesday during a gathering with over 200 former communist rebels in Malacanang. He says, quote, If you say dictator, I will be a dictator. Because if I will not be a dictator, son of a bitch, nothing will happen to this country. Duterte is reacting to how leftists labeled him as a fascist and a puppet of the United States. The Philippine leader earlier said he would not be a dictator, just a hardliner on crime, particularly on drug trafficking. He also said in past speeches that becoming a dictator would dishonor his mother, the late Soledad Roa Duterte, a prominent activist against the martial law regime of dictator Ferdinand Marcos. But Duterte has not shied from admitting his admiration for Marcos, who he described several times as the best president the country has ever had, if not for his dictatorship. The Office of the Prosecutor of the International Criminal Court confirms it is starting a preliminary examination into the high number of killings under President Rodrigo Duterte's bloody war on drugs, adding it is closely following the situation since 2016. ICC Prosecutor Fatou Ben Suda says her office decided to pursue a preliminary examination of the situation in the Philippines following a careful, independent, and impartial review of communications and reports documenting alleged crimes. The preliminary examination of the situation in the Philippines will analyze crimes allegedly committed in this state party since at least the 1st of July 2016 in the context of the war on drugs campaign launched by the government of the Philippines. While some of such killings have reportedly occurred in the context of clashes between and within gangs, it is alleged that many of the reported incidents involved extrajudicial killings in the course of police anti-drug operations. Alakanyang earlier announced the Philippine government has been informed of this latest move, adding Duterte welcomes the preliminary examination because he is sick and tired of being accused. The ICC is the world's first treaty-based permanent international criminal court that aims to end impunity. It investigates serious crimes, including genocide, crimes against humanity, war crimes, and crimes of aggression. The ICC's Office of the Prosecutor is acting on the communications filed by Filipino lawyer Jude Sabio and another by Senator Antonio Trillanes IV and Magdalo Representative Gary Alejano in 2017. Twitter on Thursday reports its first ever quarterly profit, delivering a boost to shares of the social network, which has been lagging for years against fast growing rivals. Twitter says it earned $91 million in the fourth quarter, the first positive net income since going public in 2013. Revenue was up 2% from a year ago, to a better than expected $732 million, while the number of monthly active users rose modestly to $330 million. The profitability marks a milestone for Twitter, which has lost money consistently since its public offering, sparking speculation on whether it needed to sell itself to keep operating. While Twitter has built a solid core base of celebrities, politicians, and journalists, it has failed to achieve the broader appeal of Facebook and other social platforms, hurting its ability to bring in ad revenues. But the network stepped up efforts to boost its user base and engagement, adding streaming video partnerships, doubling the character limit on tweets to 280, and making it easier to create tweet storms by stringing messaging together.